Thank you very much. Is that all going? Yeah. That looks like that's working good. Awesome. I'm Jeffrey Denning from GoingToPlaces.com and it's been a pleasure to come along to Foam It. I have really enjoyed it immensely. Um, the machine is just going off on me though. Wine Australia Tourism. Um, our market problem we identified is there's 65 wine regions in Australia in the six states. There's no single platform for wine buyers or travellers combined. So what you're dealing with is you've got a mixture of platforms which are mostly government operated or you've got your booking.coms and your Expedias. There's no collaborative selling platforms which sell wines. For example, your government situation, the government sites, they can only take bookings for accommodations through your TripAdvisor. Um, and TripAdvisor and Booking.com, they do not sell wine. Um, and Armando is not part of my program, but he's a really very intense person who wants to buy a ticket. He has been wanting to shop with me for so long, but I'm so generous with the fact of it, that the individual wine producers and regions are all doing their own thing, much like the internet is in America at the moment. And what you have is when everyone is not cooperating in a massive industry, it's about everyone getting along like a herd of cats. They all want to go and chase the mouse, they all want to get along and curl up in the cushion, but they don't get the opportunity to work together and be profitable. And the internet has been alone for a long, long time. There's a lot of businesses that still do not use it properly. Um, they rely upon your bigger platforms and they don't market themselves individually like the motels and hotels did in the 70s and the 80s, which is the last century. They had to get out and they had to promote themselves much easier. Our solution is joining the dots. We integrate a system. It's an ecosystem which we developed ourselves. It combines websites, apps and the social media. And we connect up the operators in the wine industry and the tourism industry with the consumers. We are a middleman. What we do is we develop a platform which brings the people in and they find the experiences and the things that they're looking for. Creating a platform which is a collaboration between the wineries. And you're stronger when you're working together for Brand Australia. It's not Brand New South Wales, Brand Tasmania, Brand Barossa Valley, Brand McLaren Vale, it's Brand Australia. We are, a, we are the seventh biggest wine producer in the world. Our tourism was up at $8 million prior to COVID hitting us. We then will value add to the wine consumer's experience by adding the mechanisms within our platforms so they can engage with the brands and their backstories when they visit the regions and they can book their associated accommodation. One of our start points that we have included is, particularly with wine, is to incorporate a great tool that's been invented which is blockchain. It's just part of the oil of our machine. And we are a business. We don't have many wine customers. We actually have two wineries advertising with us at the moment. That is, of course, Woodsoak Wines and Carrata Wines down at Robe, where I'm from. But yesterday, one of our jobs came to fruition. Two years ago, we met the people who owned the, the motor inn at Mount Gambia. And we first introduced ourselves and they said they had their plans for the vision. Uh, three months ago, I got connected by another associate of mine who's a builder. He said they want to go ahead with it, can you put together a digital package for them to promote their winery? I'd already started working on it on spec with them after I met with them two years ago. Wineries, whether it be a hotel or a motel, sorry, for a motel, having an individual website, you're competing against every other individual motel website. So you'll go to booking.com or Expedia because you think it's easier, but you've got to pay your commission. But how about this? We gave this hotel an entire region because they're putting a four and a half star motel in there. It's a six million dollar investment. What we give them is the opportunity through their platform that we built for them to not only promote their own hotel and all the experiences in the region, which their four and a half and five star customers are coming down to enjoy in their buses, they get to book them through the platform. They also get to book other experiences and entertainment through the region and other people who are coming to the Limestone Coast, which happens to be the second most popular international destination in South Australia. They can also book other accommodations through it. So this hotel now not only gets the booking from their own money without paying a commission, they get a commission from everybody else who books through that White Limestone Coast platform. It is ambitious what we're designing to do. We've decided to look at the country as a whole. We are a United Nation, but we phased it and we've de-risked it by starting with a prototype and then scaling up because that's what we do. We are a business that's in a growth stage. We've decided to move into wine and tourism, but we're starting with an existing solid infrastructure, the goingtoplaces.com ecosystem, and attaching to that our booking platform. 
our artificial intelligence based platform partner, which is Trade AI. That's South Australian based. They're a commodities trading partner, which we've managed to take their engine and turn that into a booking platform as well as an experienced sales platform. We are using a global blockchain platform provider specialising in food and drink supply chains into China, which is VE Chain. In the United States, we have a specialist in customer engagement and a platform which allows consumers to share data. We're actually capping in on not only just selling money, but also selling data with our business. Goingtoplaces.com does have platforms out there. We're not starting from scratch. As I said, we're starting from a stable platform. We started with this one here, Robe South Australia, 2016, town of 1,400 people. That is still a major contributor with our advertising sales to motels, hotels, wineries and experiences in the region. I saw the vision within a month of doing that because I built these platforms myself. I now hire people to do the work for me. We did the Barossa Valley, we did Kangaroo Island and we own the Great Ocean Road app platform. 22 million bed nights a year and that's part of our global ecosystem. In 2019, we launched the South Australia platform with a website and an app. And we are good at what we do. We did get a product commendation for our design for tourism, for the Going to Places Tourism app. And this year, we're a finalist in the IT information technology for the champions of small business in Australia that will be decided in November. South Australia app did, of course, go along quite well for us until a little thing happened. We were looking very good there at the beginning of the year, so we had to slow down. Fortunately, Foment came along and gave us something else to work on for development. And as you can see, it does get its use. We have there with our downloads that we've had, it was just tracking along very nicely. Most important thing is how long the customers are spending in our application, five minutes. They're not just flipping in there and going out. They're getting engaged with what we provide with all the experiences. And we don't just cover tourism in this. We cover 144,000 businesses in South Australia. We pivoted in January. Why be just tourism? There's 18,000 businesses. Let's do every business in South Australia that needs to get digital sales happening. Your local electrician, your local mechanic, your local winery. So we keep working on what we do. We have a very simple platform when it comes to tourism. You want to go on a holiday. There was 8 million domestic wine and holiday customers last year, but we're targeting 2.4 to 3.1 million people using our domestic platform of promotion through Facebook and Instagram. We're going to put them coming through into our Wine Trailers of Australia platform. Then we go to the six states and the 65 regions. We've got 2,400 wineries, 287,000 tourism businesses through Australian Tourism Data Warehouse, which is notoriously hard to work with. Um, there's 1,100 wineries listed there, as Wine Australia told us the other day. So we can get those in there for a minimal cost. They've got 90,000 businesses, which we can also bring into the Wine Trails platform. So we've got the suppliers, and we'll have the customers coming into our platform. And it's a very simple customer process. They're looking for a holiday. They're looking for a wine. They're looking for just having an exploration through it. They can buy it through there. The money goes directly to the winery, they post it out and we take a commission between 10 and 15%. Our business model is very simple. I don't know where that's my dong. No, okay. uh, a minute and a half. Jeff. Our current income, we have a business model which is relied upon simply doing things simply and easily. And that's how we've worked all our life. We do have competition with booking.com and Expedia, but we're starting very small. We're not trying to take them on head on and our team is great intellectuals. We're using people from the UK and Australia. Legally, we have the coverage of all the things that we need to do, and that helps us with our partners. We de-risked it. It only needs a small investment to start. But most importantly, today it's an invitation. There's me. If you need a solution for your state, for your region, for your town, for your business, you can call me. I'll give you a 30-minute free consultation. I'm bloody good. If you need, and ask from us. We want the premium niche brands to contact us to join at no cost to be listed into our base, which is very good to start up with. Initial seed and innovation funding for the prototype, that's just to get our blockchain off and running, and that's about $10,000. Wine Trials of Australia, our vision is to create a global wine and tourism sales platform for Australia, culminating in pioneering, pioneering international trading corridors with the US, European Union, USA and Asia. Promote projecting brand Australia onto a global stage, 
leveraging new technologies. Thank you for your time and attention. My name's been Geoffrey Denning.